a newlywed couple put their money towards a home and spent a budget-friendly honeymoon in the nearby town of Port Gamble. While walking the quaint streets, neighborhood children distracted the wife who longed for children of her own. She greeted kids who waved back from porches, upstairs windows, or bikes. She talked to her husband as they got drinks at the general store and mentioned there was something peculiar about the child in the upstairs window of the home next to the store. The store owner chuckled and said, Miss, no one's lived there for years. The home was Washington's mysterious dwelling, the Walker Ames House. And this is Legends from the Pacific. Aloha, and thank you for joining us. This is Legends from the Pacific, Episode 18, Washington's Mysterious Dwelling, The Walker Ames House. I am Kamuela Kaneshiro. Listeners, please nominate Legends from the Pacific for the Podcast Awards when voting opens in July. Also, follow us on Twitter or Instagram and share us with your friends and family. Later in this episode, your featured song and Hawaiian word, but first, the Walker Ames house. There's something enjoyable about a good haunted house, and the Walker Ames house is one of the most active ones. Located beside Puget Sound is Washington's Kitsap Peninsula, which was named after Squamish Native American chief Kitsap. This area was known as Tikalit, which means brightness of the noonday sun. The surrounding forest made it an ideal site for a lumber mill and Port Gamble was established. The town was named after either Lieutenant Colonel John M. Gamble or Lieutenant Robert Gamble. And this is where we find the Walker Ames house. The Queen Anne-style Victorian house was occupied by the lumber mill superintendent, whose last name was Walker. When he retired, the house passed to his son-in-law, Edwin Ames, and it became the Walker Ames house. The house's last resident moved out when the mill closed in 1995, but it's believed the house's paranormal disturbances began in the 50s. Paranormal activity has included apparitions in the hallways, cold spots, hearing children playing, hearing running through the second floor, foul smells, and something in the basement that torments women by hitting them or pulling their hair or jackets. Also, false walls and hidden spaces were discovered. Outside the house, People have witnessed lights turn on and an apparition in the upstairs window that locals say appears every six weeks. Some say it's a nanny, while others claim it's a child. Still to come, your featured song and Hawaiian word, but now a story. The following is a Legends from the Pacific original story and is based on collected testimony. The unlocked back door surprised the teenagers. The movers left hours ago and must have forgotten to lock it. They entered the mysterious house they grew up seeing from the outside. Excitement and the latest X-Files episode fueled the teenagers' curiosity. The teens whispered loudly to overcome the fear chattering their teeth and believed passing bystanders would think their group were movers doing last minute packing. Someone mentioned they should pair up to better explore the house. Each guy paired with a girl and the dates ventured into the grim house.
the basement stairs creaked as the couple descended. Their fear-infused hormones heightened their morbid date as they scanned the area. Their mounting, intoxicating excitement caused them to turn off their flashlights and kiss. Their burning passion overwhelmed them. Breathing became heavy. Pain interrupted the girl and she told her date to ease up from pulling her hair. His eyes contracted. I'm not pulling your hair. A shadow moved behind him. The girl screamed. Her date spun around with his flashlight. A humanoid shadow scurried into the wall. The couple scrambled upstairs. Dark figures filled the doorway. The girl screamed. The figures tried to calm her. They were her friends, asking if she was all right. The girl cried as her date explained what happened. Footsteps ran across the floor above them. Someone mentioned it was just the group's last couple. The pair emerged from the hallway and said it wasn't them. Their wide-eyed friends stepped back. The couple realized their friends were looking past them, and the couple turned to the hallway they came from. A dark figure loomed in a bedroom doorway. The teen screamed and fled the house and didn't notice a light turn on. Coming up is your featured song and Hawaiian word. Listeners, please nominate Legends from the Pacific for the podcast awards when voting opens in July. Also, follow us on Twitter or Instagram and share us with your friends and family. Today, the Walker Ames House has been a popular spot for paranormal investigations. You can tour the house at night. There's an annual ghost conference and the number of paranormal encounters continue to rise. I'd like to point out that when Port Gamble changed from a lumber town to tourism, some feel the town's paranormal stories were embellished to increase tourism. This raises a valid point because it's unclear how or why the Walker Ames house is haunted. See, normally there's some kind of local folklore to explain things especially in a small town like Port Gamble, where generations of families lived and knew each other. However, the house has no such background. So, we don't know why the Walker Ames house is haunted, which I feel is the house's real mystery. If you like what you heard, please give us a rating, write a review, and share Legends from the Pacific with your friends and family. I'd really appreciate it. Please don't forget to nominate Legends from the Pacific for the Podcast Awards in July. Our theme song is Mystery by Tavana, courtesy of High Sessions. Sound effects are by Sound Effects Factory. Our music coordinator is Matt Duffy, a.k.a. DJ Triple Bypass. Links and show notes can be found on our website, legendsfromthepacific.com, including a link to your featured song, which is Driving Me Crazy by Cliff and Susan. Legends from the Pacific was written, produced, and edited by me, Kamuela Kaneshiro. I also wrote our opening and closing stories. Your featured Hawaiian word is puka ani ani. Puka ani ani means window. An example for puka ani ani is the house is hot. Please open the puka ani ani. Once again, puka ani ani is Hawaiian for window. Thank you once again for listening. Mahalo and a hui ho. Going out of my mind every time I see you. Don't you know that baby?